This tutorial will show you how to have several items within one shape layer. The container is perfect for that and grouping is also something that you should know when working in After Effects. Ok, let me show you how to contain the container. Sometimes people think that if you create a shape, this shape layer is only for this one shape and that's the end. But this is not true, I want to show you how to contain the container and how to work differently. You can also right click, select new and select a, not a solid, I wanted a shape layer. Ok, I have this shape layer, I'll open it up and it has nothing inside the contents. So I'll add content by clicking on add and adding, for example, a polystar. So this is a ready shape added to this layer and I want to open this shape. Maybe let's make it three points so this is a very simple triangle. Look at that, content polystar path. Now the polystar path has like nothing on it. So I can again click add and as you can see in the second section you have fill, stroke, gradient and then those other options. Let's for example start out with a stroke. Immediately a stroke has been added and also a stroke has been added to the contents. I'll make the stroke bigger so you can really see the triangle and let me, let's say that I want a simple animation here on this triangle. I would press on add and I would for example select the trim pads option. We use the trim pads, let me put it below the stroke and as you can see the trim pads can trim my pads. Wow. Let's select 0%, keyframe the end, go forward, make it 33%. So one, one side of this triangle, 33% is like nearly exactly this one, one side. I'll go a bit back, I keyframe this 0 and at the end this can be also 33%. So I have now an entire animation on those three items in this one shape layer. But as you can see, I can select those three items, I can press Ctrl G and this is now one group. Within this shape layer, in its contents, we have one group. But I can do Ctrl D, Ctrl D, and I have now three groups within this one shape layer. Now, why the heck why would I do something like that? Why do I need three groups here? I could just duplicate those shape layers. Yes, you could duplicate those shape layers, but sometimes you want to apply options onto one shape layer. In this case, I have three trim pads animations. Let me open group two and group three. I'll open its trim pads, opening trim pads, and as you can see, I have the offset here. Let me go to the middle of the animation where the 33% are and group number 2, I'll offset it. I'll try to be precise here by pressing my control key, it goes slower. Alright, now the last one, trim pads, offset. I'm offsetting the same animation within those groups, everything on one shape layer. Let me close that down and look at that. I have basically three triangles, three animations on one shape layer. Of course the keyframes could be better, but I can now press Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D. Move it, move it, move it. Scale, bigger, scale, bigger, scale, bigger. A super, super, super quick animation with just random colors and look how easy it is to create an animation like that, a really motion graphics animation with help of one shape layer, which is duplicated in a very simple fashion. Currently, we will have such an animation. Something really cool, of course, it could be offset differently, longer, adjusted, but I wanted to show you that you can contain a container with several containers, groups within one shape layer. A useful, really useful, useful trick, useful knowledge to have with After Effects, and this is something to remember. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and see you in other ones like that.